Hello, Gemini, and welcome back. If you're new, welcome in. I am so grateful for your time and your energy. Thank you all for the likes, the comments, the shares, and thank you for all of the new subscriptions. Welcome in. So I am a fellow Gemini. So Gemini, let's get some angel messages for you. Yesterday, did you feel that? Yeah, it felt like something was off. I was like hesitant, and I was like, is this shadow period starting early for us? No, no. It was Saturn coming back home. Daddy's back home. So you could have felt it. It was definitely a feeling of short circuit, right? I was feeling the energy of things could have not went your way. Plans were messed up. It's like a lot of things like static is in the air, Gemini. Okay, the angels are definitely telling me, Gemini, the static is about to be lifting. This energy is going to be playing out for you for November, uh, for ending Scorpio season and going right into fiery Sagittarius season. Love is in the air, Gemini, okay? We have Chantel here. You can look at this card, and this is what it's saying. I'll read it to you. So it says, Gemini, you're, there's, a, there's a new chapter here. New romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through an existing reunited passionate connection in your existing relationships. Be open now, Gemini, to giving and receiving love. For some of you, you're rekindling your connection, your relationship, and for some of you, new love is coming in. So Gemini, this is a time to be the social butterfly, to get yourself out there, to celebrate the season. I'm starting early with the jingle. So I'm hearing jingle bells. I'm hearing bells. It's about to shake up your love life, Gemini, for November. And we also have Serena here. This is the angel. Like I feel, Gemini, let's read the card. It says, I am the angel of abundance. You will soon receive the money that you need. And God's in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Gemini, that money that's coming your way is because you are on God's payroll, must I say. You are in alignment to abundance here. So it feels like definitely, Gemini, the money is coming in here. This is about being booked and busy. This is about, Gemini, the energy here is starting to ramp up for us, okay? So get yourself out of that rut, okay, Gemini? It's time to take action. Like we feel, the sky is the limit. Abundance is all around us now, Gemini. Abundance is all around us now. And even in abundance in the love department. Gemini Oceana is here. It's saying take action. You are in touch with your truth in this situation. And you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. I'm automatically feeling like if you're in a partnership, you need to trust yourself, okay? In a situation here. It's like don't don't uh, jump the, to conclusions here. You, your gut is telling you the truth here. So you're very in touch with your intuition here. Like I feel, Gemini, you can be an empath, a psychic, an intuitive, and you are somebody who knows that love is here. So it's about, Gemini, get yourself out there. Be, this is a feeling of the possibilities are endless. There are exciting times here, Gemini. You need to trust your gut. Look, trust your gut and go for it, okay? Mars will be in Sagittarius on the 24th. This is a time now, Gemini, where you're growing into your true self. For a lot of you, you're climbing out of an emotional turbulent time and you're coming to the surface with how you feel about love. This is I'm ready to receive love. So this is definitely where I feel a feeling of ready to receive love, okay? Let's, what do we want to get? Let's get the traditional tarot out and then I'll go right into tapped in tarot if I want to clarify because I love that deck. Happy, uh weekend. I was just going to say happy birthday. Someone's on a birthday. So you could be on a Scorpio's birthday party this weekend or celebrating a birthday. Okay. Or someone's birthday is coming up. Happy early birthday. So Scorpio season is still here as we move to Sag. So you could have a Sag birthday coming up for some of you. This is for Gemini. This is for November 5th through November 2023, collective messages. This is in love and abundance. Spirit guys, we'll see what the energy is coming through. 
for Gemini. This is general messages and in love. This is going to be a revelation tarot spread, and this is for Gemini. Gemini, embrace this joy. Embrace it. It's time to take action. It's time to come out of that rut. I did your reading the other night, and it was the kids were sleeping, so I couldn't talk loud. But yeah. Try to take action on your dreams, Gemini, okay? Let's see Gemini's current overall energy, spirit guides. What is for Gemini? Hello, here it is. <laughs> Vavoom, that shocked me. This is going to come to a shock, Gemini. Here it is. The hand of the divine is giving you the holy grail, ace of cups. A brand new cycle, and it's imminent. So Gemini, like I feel, getting ready to be the receiving and the receiving end. This is receiving love. So in your connections, Gemini, I feel that right now there's a lot of love in the air. Be open to giving and receiving. So this is a new chapter, a new beginning. And this Ace of Cups is your heart's desire, Gemini. This is your heart's desire. Show me two more cards for Gemini's overall energy and love. Please, Spirit. Yep, Knight of Pentacles. This is going to be a very loyal offer that's being handed to you. For a lot of you, Gemini, you've been waiting a very long, long, long time for this love. This is the kind of love, Gemini, that was worth the wait, like I feel. Earth energy. And let me get one more card. This is for clarifying the love, new romance. For a lot of you, you've been invested, I feel, working on yourself, doing the work here. Knight of Pentacles, very grounded. This love is very grounded here. For a lot of you, somebody here uh, could be stuck in weather that where there's a lot of rain or a lot of snow, and they could be slowing down, okay? This is someone who's very clear, very careful. This person is very careful. <clears throat> They're also coming in with a Knight of Pentacles. I saw this when I was meditating, Gemini. This person could be, like I feel somebody here could have been, Stepping, you see the horse. Well, they say, like old gypsy saying is, when you step in horse shit, it brings big, big, big luck. Like big luck is on your side here. This is a time, Gemini, for some of you could be stepping in horse poop. I should not said this word. Oops. But Gemini, it feels like you are now ready for something long term. The Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups tells me you're ready to take it slow. This is a process here, Gemini, that I feel it's, it's a feeling of relaxed and enjoy it. This is about, like I'm feeling here with this Ace of Cups here, is overflowing love. Enjoy every moment of this. So this is, this, mo this moment that you're in right now with receiving this love offer, okay, for a lot of you, is going to catch you off balance, Two of Pentacles, Earth Energy. I feel right now, Gemini, you're grounded, but... You're taking on so much when it comes to the responsibilities. You're taking on a lot right now. It feels like there's a feeling here of you, you're going back and forth, or you could be like a feeling of where you're just coming to this place where you can go, ah, oh, let me sit down. It's a feeling of let me sit down first. Let me focus on my energy. Let me gain my balance. It's about your patience has paid off, Gemini. Are you ready? Because this person finds you so mysterious. So attractive, man or woman, queen of wands. There's a feminine energy that's coming through, Gemini, and I feel this is you. I feel your feminine is fired up right now. Your confidence is shining through, Gemini, and I feel you are attracting a very passionate connection. This connection, Gemini, tells me this is what you're ready for. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Cups. This person, okay, like I feel you don't see this person coming in, Gemini. I feel that you're making a decision as you move forward. You're coming from a place where you've invested a lot into your career, your craft. You're somebody here who I feel with the Queen of Wands. You know, the Queen of Wands is somebody who's very passionate about what they're working on. Uh, so you're passionate about your work. You're passionate about your single life. You're passionate about... The role that you play, Gemini. It feels like for a lot of you here. Thank you. I'm sorry. Wait, hang on. A lot of you. You turned your head from being at a crossroads. She's not looking back anymore. The past is in the past. And that's where she's leaving it. 
She's not blocked anymore, the Queen of Wands. She's determined not to stay in this place of the Two of Swords, which is, fight, which is flight or fight. She's no longer fighting it. She's attracting it. So Gemini, it feels like you're attracting great love. This is like a feeling, Gemini, where you could have gave yourself a kick in the butt and said it's time for a radical decision. It's electrifying, like I feel, Gemini. It's intense. You're breaking that block. Like I feel, you're not blocking yourself any longer. You're attracting great romance, great love. Uh, it feels like, yeah, you're not. So she, like I feel, in a position here with the two, two, you had a choice for a lot of you, okay? It feels like for a lot of you, you put the brakes on a relationship here. Knight of Pentacles. Something here stopped. It was like, I'm not going any further. You've been out weighing the pros and cons if you're in a connection right now. Like I feel. And now, like it feels, you're ready for a lot of you to say, you know what, I'm ready for something new in my life. So there's a newcomer. There's someone here that's new, Gemini. And it feels like for a lot of you here, for your, there's a feeling here of you making up your mind and you definitely having that spark ready to spark this flame back in an existing relationship for those of you who are in an existing relationship. It feels like you're very independent. You can take care of yourself on your own. You're also somebody here who's got a lot of ambition for this connection also is what I'm picking up on, okay? So Queen of Wands will keep her and Two of Wands. Show me more about the Angel of Abundance for Gemini, about money, finances, and career. Show me for Gemini, money, finances, and career. Like I feel, you don't see something coming here. It feels like there's, there's a feeling of you attracting it. It's going to come out of the blue. Yeah. Show me money, career for Gemini, the Angel Serena. This angel talks about receiving some kind of a money, good fortune, finances, and it's about to happen. Yeah, that's what I feel. I feel you put a lot of work into something here that's that's got a financial uh, windfall coming in, right? Because the Knight of Pentacles is you relaxed, okay? You're taking it slow. Slow and steady wins the race with the Knight of Pentacles. Like I said, you're very loyal to what you do, your craft, Okay. It feels like a need to prioritize something here when it comes to your finances. You're going to need to bring balance in that department to manage your money or manage your finances. It's about a time now where you need to bring balance, okay? So let's see. Show me Gemini's money, abundance, career. Show me Gemini. Huh, money, four of wands for a lot of you. You're in a home situation, I feel, where there's a big celebrating of this home. For a lot of you, you made a move. Here's your new door. Miracles, Gemini, four of wands. For a lot of you, you could work from home, have a home business. Four of wands, Gemini, is a filling here of the 1111. This is the portal. The 1111, for me, how I look at a portal is I feel the 1111 is activating your DNA. So the Four of Wands for a lot of you is an activation. There's an abundance in this new home. For a lot of you, this is about something stable. This is my Lightworkers card. And with the Queen of Wands, this tells me you're a psychic. You're a light worker. You're an intuitive. You can be a tarot reader. You study astrology. You work from your own pace, your own home. Like I feel, you take care of a lot of things. For a lot of you, you're single. You're independent. Okay, it also feels like... Let's get another card for Gemini's money. There's a big blessing that's coming in. Gemini, big blessing. With Venus and Taurus, Venus is going to be bringing you abundance of money, wealth. This is my card of definitely, Gemini, you're stepping into a leadership role. You're a teacher. This has to do with you teaching about uh, situations when it comes to conformity. I feel, Gemini, this has to do with the government, Okay. Say this is like a government. This is, you got it, okay? This is about telling me here that if it's a, a situation around a home, a family, okay? This could be a feeling here of definitely, Gemini, you're identifying with your higher self here. It also feels like for a lot of you, you've worked very hard. 
the Hierophant is higher learning. It's also um, like if you were applying for a government loan or you're applying for a loan, you got it. The Hierophant is definitely Taurus and Venus coming home in Libra. I saw the Libra card. It's going to work in your favor. So you could be buying a home, purchasing a home, making a move. And that's the truth. Ace of Swords for a lot of you. You're going to be getting clear communication from a masculine, okay, about this position. The truth is coming in. Ace of Swords tells me within a day, you could be hearing good news, be hearing something here that's going to catch you off guard. It's underneath the Two of Pentacles. There's somebody here, Gemini, that wants to marry you. You could be hearing about this. This could be like renewing your vows. This is destined, Gemini. There's a twist of fate and it's destined for you. Jupiter and Sagittarius here. So it tells me, Gemini, this is crystal clear. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. This is true love. This is what I feel was worth the wait. This person, Gemini, is coming in, okay? And they're coming in with clarity. This is somebody here that I feel, Gemini, you have definitely so much communication coming in. This is someone that's going to be opening up, expressing that they want to marry you. This is somebody who could be announcing a wedding or someone's announcing a, a, a wedding. It's still coming in through this way. It feels like with Jupiter, this home business or this business that you're in, you could be a teacher, a role model. You could be into your spirituality. You're taking this slow and steady. This is your craft. This is your sacred place. This is your sacred calling. That's the truth. Jupiter and Sagittarius is saying, enjoy it, Gemini. Embrace the joy, like I feel. This is like a feeling here of abundance. Double blessings for you, Gemini, during this portal right now, up until 1111 Gateway. It's electrifying. Jupiter and Sagittarius tells me this is a huge turning point in your life when it comes to Gemini. Something you're very clear, you're very aware that this is your voice. So you're the messenger the truth bearer, you're in touch with your communication. This is about being better, able to communicate, okay, the things that you require. This is about speaking your voice, getting spiritual guidance, giving spiritual guidance. This is about <clears throat> your commitment to your work. This is your higher calling, and that's the truth. This is what you were born to do, Gemini. This is it right here. This is light workers calling. You're born for this, Gemini. So like I feel, this is definitely something here where you have a brand new, fresh start. Okay, might I say, and it's mighty pretty, Gemini. There's a very lucky time here in your fortune and your money. Money's coming, Ace of Swords, okay? So you could be hearing about this within a day. This could be a communication, a negotiation, a higher role, a promotion, Okay, four of cups is here when it comes also to your money. There's an opportunity that you can miss, Gemini, four of, of cups. You're not seeing it. So here's what I'm going to say. There's some kind of short circuit here, queen of pentacles, okay? It's also underneath the queen of wands here, okay? Four of cups is telling me there's a feeling of a missed opportunity with money. It's like <clears throat> short circuit. You could be missing a phone call because you're taking care of too much, you're not prior to prioritizing something here. It's like you're trying to work, you're trying to gain balance. The Queen of Wands is determined. She's like, whatever block is in my way, I'm gonna go right through this. The Queen of Pentacles is telling me, be still, be still right now. There's a feeling here of get ready to ground in when it comes to your work and your projects, Gemini. Look at all this money, Seven of Pentacles. All your hard work is paying off, Gemini. There is a reward for your patience, right? You've been very patient. There's a feeling here of you diving deep into this business project, okay? And it feels like there's been planning, investing. There's a profit that's here, Gemini, okay? A profit. It feels like for a lot of you, people are learning from you, Gemini. You definitely, somebody here who in the spiritual uh, community, People are learning from you. So this tells me you are committed. You're responsible. You are the boss of this. Like I feel for a lot of you. And you don't know that this king of wands is watching you. So there's the king to the queen of wands. 
You have somebody here, Gemini, that's got their eyes on you at work. They're watching you. They're learning from you, okay? They see how determined that you are. They see the quality of work that you're giving here, okay? They see you in a, in a leadership role. Like, I feel you're definitely in the limelight for a lot of you, Gemini. But it feels like the Four of Cups, when it also comes to love, there's somebody here that you're saying, no, thank you, I'm not interested. So there's somebody here that, that doesn't want to come forward because they feel you're going to let them down. That's what I'm feeling here. It feels like this person knows you're getting ready to move on. So you have someone from the past that I feel you let go of. It's very clear. And there was a third party in the past here. And it was like you're making a decision. For some of you, there's a decision between two people. Someone that you put the brakes on. You didn't move forward on it. And you're getting ready now to invest in yourself. You're moving on. That's what I see. So if that is love, yeah. For a lot of you, let's get one more card for money. One more card for God's in charge of how this money is going to come. Have faith. Yeah, if you hear kids, dogs, or whatnot, I am with my daughters. So sorry about the background. One more. Knight of Cups. Here we go. Romance is in the air. This is something you love to do, Gemini, when it comes to money. There's a judgment. There's a rebirth, a renewal happening. A brand new beginning in your career. A brand new calling. Like I feel for some of you, you're being redirected here, okay? It feels like there's an opportunity when it could come to money or work. Something that's not up your alley, I'm hearing. There's something here that you're not interested. It's like you're going to get the truth about it. And you're going to say, no, no, thank you. I'm not interested in this opportunity. And it feels like you're following your heart. And that is what you're supposed to follow. Follow what you love to do. This is about working and working smarter. This is about making uh, choices when it comes to negotiation. Things that are not aligned with your emotions telling you this is your heart. It's like there is a feeling here that's not working for you. Okay, definitely. And there's a judgment that you need to make here. Okay, so I feel that it, the information is going to be you got the final call. There could be somebody calling you back. Somebody that you walked away from because there was definitely conflict and tension in your work or in finances. It feels like this is somebody who's pulling you back. Like somebody could be coming back around from the past, reaching out to you that they need you. But like I feel in the past, Gemini, game over. That's, that's done tower. So the eclipse has changed that. So there's a big change in your career sector. It's going to have to do with our 10th house. This is about a rebirth happening, Gemini, for the next two and a half years in work and money. We have Saturn saying now's the time to be very focused, very clear on what you do want, right? And let go of what you don't want. Focus, focus, focus on the four of wands, which is the energy here. Miracles are happening, okay, when it comes to money. So this is about definitely a sacred connection that you have with 1111 is in your reading. So something like a miracle is coming, magical, new beginning. That's here. This is a magical new beginning in your work and finances. 1111 is here, Gemini. It's very clear this is your calling. So I'm going to leave the reading there, Gemini, and I'll be back. We got the kids. Heavens to Betsy. I love you all. We'll see you soon.